Hey guys, so um, these are the current energies check-ins. Um, something's happening to my voice where it's kind of looking like it wants to go away. Um, for some reason, I'm like, um, so I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen for the next few days, but it's it's been playing with me since yesterday. Uh, Kind of like it's here, but not really, and really, really sleeping away from me. But I'll see. I'll see what happens. I'll let you know in the community page, I think, if I lose my voice for some reason. It, it sure feels that way, and I don't know why. Um, what do you have in your tail here? Sorry. So yeah, Felix is here. Uh, Oscar is here. They're both here grooming themselves it's like whatever they do they do at the same time they sleep and not only do they sleep at the same time they sleep in the same position and one is a cat and one is a dog so what's up with that guys what's up with this bond i'm gonna leave them alone because uh they're not really paying attention to me anyway so uh current energy check-ins um for this weekend, aren't we curious what's going to happen next uh, about everything? Um, so I'm going to go through each sign individually uh, very, very fast and to the point. No clarification for this reading. Mm, what else? Timestamps in the description box below and in the comment section. Um, am I forgetting something? Oh, I'll go by uh, the signs. Blah, blah, blah. I'll go by elements. So, um, earth signs, fire signs, air signs, and water signs. I'll be looking into where you're at in regards to a situation or a person. Uh, where they're at in regards to you. Uh, where the connection is at. And then I'll be pulling some cards from the universe for you. And um, roles can still be reversed. You know the draw. I think that's about it. I think we're good to go. Yeah, if I happen to lose my voice, I'll probably... I don't know what I'll do. I guess I'll see. But it sure does feel that way. And I didn't talk much, so what the hell happened? I don't know. Let's start. Uh, Earth signs. Capricorn. Too many. Too many. Cards are sticky. Ah, oh, the humidity. Let's get into my cards. Um, let's see, Cappy. All right, so on your side, you get the Seven of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, and the Nine of Wands. You're leaving something behind, or you want to leave um, some sort of a partnership. It could be a friendship here or somebody you work with. It's hard to do, but I see you kind of turning your back and walking away. Uh, you are looking back, which is telling me that maybe, you know, you don't really want to do it. You're going kicking and screaming pretty much. So, but you're going. Um, for them, whew. They get the tower, the three of cups and the seven of cups. I feel like this person sees you going and they're, it's like their whole world um, it's kind of like a train is hitting them. That's how they're they're taking it. So even if it's a friend, it's there it's unexpected for them. And I do see them thinking about ways to come back together with you. So I see a shock, a surprise on their part and then a plan to come back and make this happen with you. 
Uh, for the connection, you get the Six of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles. You are possibly walking away because there's no equal give and take here. There's no... You're probably giving more or taking more. Uh, there could be that aspect too. There's no balance here anymore. And you want balance. And then, mm -mm. No more. Um, let's see what the universe has. <laughs> That's a funny way of showing up. Yeah, it's like the Eight of Pentacles, the Strength, and the Nine of Swords. So it's like the work that you've put into this connection here, the, the everything you've done, it's like you're thinking it's for nothing. It's it's very painful here. It's very the thinking about how much you've put into this and how much you... you ah, why can't I find my words here? I think that's why I'm losing my voice. Um... There's regret. There's regret in uh, the effort and the time you put into this on your part. So, that's it. What, do you want more? I don't have more. I don't. That's it. Short. All right, Cappy, moving on to Taurus. <clears throat> Am I in the way? Do not do that because it's like it's like an air fan here when you start doing that. Tickle, tickle. Oh wow, and I saw that card when I shuffled. Whoa, Taurus, you're showing up strong on both sides. All right, so on your side, you get the King of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. You want to offer love to this person, but there's, um, you want a brand new beginning here with somebody. There's a little bit of deception in the way. There's a little bit of the way you're planning it or the way you're doing it. Not the greatest. There's something about this, uh, self-sabotaging, deception, things like that. There's something in the way here of this offer of love that you want. You definitely want this. This is you. Raising the cup. Uh, for them, they get the Seven of Pentacles, the Hierophant, you, again, and the Chariot. Interesting. They want to work things out here with you. This person is open for working with you on something here. What's up with this deception on your part, though? You might be uh, interested in starting something in love with them and just, you know, kind of like tell, telling them, hey, do you want to just hang out, you know, no commitment, no anything, just, you know, whatever. That might be deception in itself, you know, because your true feelings are of love. You might be sharing something else with this person. Um, for the connection, you get the Six of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and the World. It's like things are going from great to the end, pretty much. Um, not necessarily, I, I kind of see this as um, with the will and the world, it does very much look like a cycle has just ended between the two of you. That doesn't mean that the connection or the relationship has ended, just a cycle. You close out a cycle with this person and it feels good, you know? Uh, let's see. Let's see what the universe has. The 
the death card, the four of swords, and the four of pentacles. Somebody's healing out of an ending. Something did end here. I'm not sure if it's between the two of you or something ended in your life or something ended in their life. You know, it could be either or. But someone is going through a major period of healing and they're like, I don't want to be disturbed. I don't want to be bothered through this. I need to... I need to heal this energy, this ending energy, whatever that is. So that's it, Taurus. Um, let's see. Moving on to Virgo. Alright, so on your side, you get the Eight of Wands, the Justice card, and the High Priestess. You want to communicate. Uh, you want to make things right. This, this, this is looking like a coming together, uh, like a <clears throat> let's talk about things, let's make things right, let's see if we can make things right. Um, but your intuition is kind of pushing you to do this, you know, it's kind of like either you're just doing your thing, you're minding your own business, and then all of a sudden it's like, man, I gotta make this, I'm, I gotta make the, ah, I gotta make things right with this person, you know, um, you're kind of feeding off of each other's energy, so for them they get the Ace of Pentacles, the Lovers, and the Ace of Cups. This person wants a lot of things with you. Uh, love, stability. They're feeling that this is a very powerful connection between the two of you. And I see the two of you um, reaching somehow a common goal-ish. You're, uh, you're still needing to be convinced of something. You know, whereas this person is like, I don't need convincing, I don't I, I need to go in. Um for the connection, you get the Queen of Wands, the Devil, and the Nine of Pentacles. Ah, there's the problem. And I feel like this could be you or them. Um somebody's lying to themselves. Somebody's being like I wanna work things out with you and I wanna make things work with you somehow. But at the same time, I want to keep my independence. I want to, I want to keep my singlehood. You know? So I don't know who that is. But uh, let's see what the universe has. Six of Swords, the Five of Cups, and the Devil. It's like two people um, coming back together, right? So you had a fight a while ago and now you're making up, right? Um, one of you is not 100% convinced that um, they still want this. Not that they want this, but that they can trust the other person fully. You know, and meanwhile, this person is kind of keeping themselves available um, until they figure out if they truly want to jump in this completely. Uh, but whoever's doing that, whoever's not in all the way yet, uh, is holding on to the past. Or was holding on to the past for quite some time. I feel like you're coming out of that energy of holding on to, to the past here. Because that was the problem. That, that's why this wasn't happening. Uh, the two of you wanting to work on this. And now it's starting to happen. Because somebody's letting go of the past. 
So that's it, Virgo. Moving on to fire signs. Aries. All right, so uh, on your side, you get the Empress, the Ace of Pentacles, and the world. You have this person that um, is in your mind, in your heart, and you feel they're there forever, you know? Um, and I feel like you wanted to start something with this person for quite some time. I don't know if you do anymore. You know, I don't know if... Um, you're still in that same place of desire for this. From what it's looking here, you're not. Uh, for them, they get the Three of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and the Hierophant. Well, they sure are. They want a partnership with you. Long-term partnership. Loving, marrying kind of partnership. Um... For the connection, you get the Seven of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. Somebody's dropping deception here. Somebody's not being deceptive anymore. And they're not afraid to speak that out. I feel like it's being communicated. I feel like you two are talking who wants what and why and things like that. Um, but like, honestly, you're talking honestly to each other. Or the energy of that is here, at least. Um, let's see. Universe. The Two of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, and the Five of Swords is here again. One of you is very much sabotaging this thing because I feel like um, on your side, it's looking like you don't want this, right? On their side, it's looking like they do want this. So somebody's getting an offer of, hey, let's do this. And they're a little bit like on the fence. They're like, I don't know. I don't know if I should do this or not. But it's this energy is deceptive because you do know. So whether yes, whether or uh whether no, you do know. You have an answer for this. You know? So this uh, deceptive energy is creating this juggling, this let's see. I don't know. Let's spend uh, about two years and figure out what I want to do or something, you know? Which is not fair to the other person. You know what you want. We all do. Okay, moving on to Leo. Uh, on your side, you get the Two of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles. You're juggling in between two energies. One of reconciliation, the other of 
quite the opposite. Um, I feel like something is happening possibly with this person and um it could be one of those things that let's say they text you or email you or call you or whatever and you're in that oh uh this might be good this might be you know getting us back where we need to but then you don't hear from them for two days and you might be getting into the other energy of oh shit, no um it's probably done you know so it kind of feels like that a little bit for them though they get the judgment the star and the king of cups those are uh, powerful cards here. This person wishes for love. That's for sure. And they're tied up to your energy. What needs to happen though here is for them to make a decision. So I feel like that's why you're kind of juggling because this person hasn't made a decision quite yet. If they want this or not. With you. But it's shown up here. Uh, for the connection, you get the Two of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. Love is coming your way, and you've been waiting for it for quite some time. It may have arrived, and you may be like, uh, I don't even know if I want this anymore. You know, it could be that possibility, too. There's a lot of this going on in each sign. What the hell is going on here? Um... There's a lot of, from what I've seen so far, there's a lot of coming back together. But there's a lot of, I don't know. I don't know if I want this anymore. <laughs> Which is funny. Because everybody wanted this and when it's happening, it's like, uh, wait, what? From the universe, you get the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Cups, and the Page of Wands. Page of Wands is you right here, and um, so on the table they're spread like this. Look how fast love is coming your way towards you. It's coming fast. So everybody's in between with these. Like I don't see anybody saying, yes, love has finally come back. Everybody's like, uh, what do I do now? Shit, it actually arrived. So what do I do now? I don't know. Sagittarius. Let's see what's up with Saggy. I have a very good idea for the rest of the day. Not gonna do shit. Just gonna relax. Not do shit about it. Oh, I have to see something. I have to watch something. I think it's movie night. Yep, with my boys. We're gonna watch a movie, boys. What do you say about that? I think they're indifferent. I think they're going to have the same uh, kind of attitude. Sleeping. Uh, let's see, Saggy. Do not scare the shit out of me again with you dreaming and jumping. All right? Dream, but nicely. Um... On your side, you get the Ten of Pentacles, the Moon, and the Six of Wands. Secretly, you want something here. You want long-term. You want something with someone here. Secretly. Um, but wanting it in secret actually makes you feel pretty darn good. Because you're not out there with everything like, Hey, let's get married tomorrow. Let's go to Vegas and do this. You know, it's not like that. It's kind of like uh, it's either something new here and it's fun to see how it evolves, how it grows and things like that. But secretly, you want good stuff here. Um, for them, they get the King of Swords, the Nine of Wands and the Seven of Swords. 
Interesting. They want this with you too. However, um, they need to drop these wands here. They need to drop these wands. These. I feel like it's difficult for this person to to come towards you. Logically, like everything around them, everything inside of them uh, is kind of pushing them towards you. It makes sense for them to come towards you. However, either they're shy or something's happening that's holding them back. But not anymore with the Seven of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Uh, for the connection, you get the Page of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, and the Hierophant. What's this? There could be somebody else involved here. If this is new, there could be somebody else involved either on your side or on their side. Somebody hasn't gotten over something else or someone else, possibly from the past. And I feel like it's you. Whoops, busted. Uh, it could be them, could be them. Let's see what the universe has. The Eight of Cups, the Fool, and the Seven of Wands. You do know you still have to release something emotionally. You know, you, you do know that there's still that to be done on your part. And I feel like it's you're in the process of doing that. You know, if there is somebody from the past still that you're still kind of hanging on to, I feel like you're starting to really emotionally feel like you're almost out, out the door. For some reason, some part of you, a little part of you is kind of rejecting that for some reason. And that's really up to you to figure out. But there's still a little, small, tiny, tiny little part of you that says, mm, I don't know if I want to give it up 100%. So, that's it. Uh, moving on to air signs, Aquarius. On your side, you get the Strength, the Knight of Wands, and the Page of Cups. You're kind of building up courage here to go towards this person. What you want to do is go, go, go and offer them love. But it takes a little bit. It takes a little bit of building up here to the momentum to, to go ahead and do that. Uh, for them, they get the Six of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and the Moon. My God, this person loves you. You have no idea. And literally, because they're not telling you how much they love you. They have a lot of love here. And a lot of good vibing kind of energy towards you. But they're not really expressing it much. For the connection, you get the Fool, the Lovers, and the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords here is you. This person wants to really, really take a chance here with you because they are feeling this unimaginable love connection with you and it's like okay I'm, I'm in all in baby let's see what the universe has finally some uh, a place where the both of you want this and let's let's wait and see let's not speak too soon no, you want this, but there's a little bit of um, there's a little bit of a rejection here. Um, could be on their side, to be honest. 
could be on their side, could be on yours. Um, but there's a little bit of a rejection here um, with this connection that um, I feel like you're not even aware of it. You could be. There's that sense that you may want to know, you may know that this person is holding back a lot here with the moon, right? And you may want to dig and find out exactly what they feel about you and things like that. I mean, we all work differently. This person might not be good at expressing how they feel. So why not let them come to terms with when they want to share what they want to share, you know, instead of, because I do see a little bit of pushing and searching and looking and, you know, kind of like forcing energetically this person to confess or open up which uh they feel which uh is controlling a little bit um so i don't know if that's the best approach hey i need uh your tail out of the way your broom uh i really need your tail out of the way because it's right in the middle of my readings okay like that All right, uh, moving on to Gemini. You're tickling me. You don't have to stay, you can go downstairs. All right, Gemini, so on your side, you get the uh, Ten of Swords, the Page of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. You feel that something is done here in regards to a connection. You feel that um, there's absolutely nothing you can do. And I feel like, meanwhile, you're working on yourself. Um, you're still connected energetically to this person, though. You're still, you may still be watching them. You may still be looking online or things like that or asking people about them and things like that. But to you, it feels like it's done. And as I said, meanwhile, you're kind of taking care of yourself there for them. The Three of Wands, the Emperor and the Nine of Cups. They're waiting for you. So if you think that this is done and this person is waiting for you, kind of like a missed opportunity kind of thing, missed and missed everything. They're waiting on someone that thinks that this is done. You know? Uh, all right, let's move to the connection. You get the Five of Wands, the Five of Cups, and the Seven of Wands. Somebody's rejecting this because of something, some sort of conflict that happened with you in the past, with the two of you. And because one of you is not letting this conflict go, in comes rejection. And I feel like that's you. Um, and by rejection, I mean you feeling that based on this conflict here and you kind of being stuck there in that conflict you think that that was it that was you know there's nothing to be discussed here there's nothing to be done and meanwhile this person is waiting for you so let's see what the universe has Magician, the Ace of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles. You still want this, Gemini. You can tell me whatever you want. I'm going to tell you what the cards are showing. You are manifesting this love. Slowly but surely. But you still want this. The 
That's it. Moving on to Libra. So, on your side, you get the Five of Wands, the uh, Emperor, and the Hierophant. You're very conflicted. Um, either you are having some conflict with this person, or you had it, or you're just very much conflicted about this. Because it feels... Um, this whole situation with this person feels like something very powerful, very spiritually guided somehow, you know? Like the two of you are here on this planet to be together this is how it feels because that's how people mistake sometimes um and get stuck in that idea of oh we're soulmates we feel so intensely about each other then it's absolutely natural that we would be with each other and eh, wrong um because it doesn't mean that yeah, you can have that connection, that powerful connection, but it doesn't mean that you, because of that, you have to be together forever. Nope. So I feel like there's a little bit of conflict um, surrounding this, this connection that you have with this person. For them, they get the Tower, the King of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. Something happened to this person that kind of... It, it kind of switched them into the synergy of being very determined to come towards you, actually. Um, but they need to put in some work towards themselves first. So I don't necessarily see them like jumping into this. I, I see them taking their time to work on them first and then approaching you because something happened, something shifted in this person's life that kind of switched this whole energy for them. Uh, for the connection, you get the Hangman, the Three of Swords, and the Two of Swords. The waiting, the not doing anything, the no action whatsoever part is confusing the hell out of you. And it's hurting you. You know, the more you wait, the more you feel like um, you're caught in this waiting game because you don't want to be waiting, but you find yourself waiting. You know, and that hurts you when you kind of realize it, like, oh, shit, I'm actually waiting for this person. Really? I don't want to be doing that. That actually puts a lot of pressure and it brings in a lot of pain. You know, um, let's see what the universe has. You get the Ace of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands. I feel like this is your person. They're uh, working towards towards starting something fresh, something brand new with you, something that, you know, is very different than what it was. Um, but again, it does look like this person is just starting to do that here with the Page of Wands. So they're open. Their energy is open to learn, to plan things out for, for this connection, but they're not there where they're going to take action quite yet, you know? Um, it's a good sign that they're starting to work on things, on themselves. So... That's it. Moving on to water signs, Cancer. The 
They gotta brush the hell out of you. And I know you love that. Not. All right, Cancer, let's see. I gotta move my cards, I think, somewhere. Oh, I know. They're very sticky um, from the humidity up here. I'm gonna place them by the vent. All right, Cancer, on your side, you get the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Wands, and the Star. So on your side, you're, um, you know, you pretty much know what you want here. Um, when it comes to stability, when it comes to who you want by your side. Uh, I don't know if you've met this person, but it sure looks like for a lot of you that you already know who this person is that you are wishing for to be in your life for the long run. For them, they get the Eight of Cups, the Four of Cups, and the Chariot. Cancer, that's your energy. This person is um, moving away from that state of always being discontent, always being, always seeing the, the negative aspects and things, you know, always um kind of like being caught up in what's wrong versus what's good in their life you know overall pretty much but they're they're dropping this kind of energy and they're rushing in towards you i feel like they're um I feel like it's helping them, the fact that you're open like this and you know exactly what you want and it's in the shape and form of them. It's kind of like helping them to remove that kind of energy that they're finding themselves in. Um, for the connection, you get the Seven of Swords, the Knight of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. Interesting. There is a form of rejection of love here because i feel like it may come in a little aggressive so if that's you tone it down a little bit a notch um so you know when you love somebody really really bad and you really really want to show it to them and tell them and it might get a little bit too much a little bit too forceful it may feel like that to them. T to you, it feels normal because you're like, well, I'm feeling this, so I'm just going to express it. To them, it feels a little, uh, I don't know. You know, so whoever's doing this, whoever's bringing in this cup of love here, they might be coming in a little aggressive, just a little bit. So just so you know, if that's you. Um, let's see what the universe has. be a Leo involved here. Uh, you get the Nine of Cups, the Strength, and the Knight of Cups. There's a lot of, I mean, on your side here, because I wanted to say this, there's the King of Wands there. That's a lot of passion. So that might be the issue. Uh, as I said, if you love this person and you're, you're a very passionate person, it might come in as really, really powerful. You may have some Leo in your chart. Um, because I see here wish fulfillment, I see happiness, I see love wanting to be given by this Leo in this card, you know, which I feel like it's you. I feel like that's your energy, not that you're a Leo, that you embody that energy of very passionate right now towards this person. So that's it. I need you to take this tail. You always do this with this tail. Okay. 
Oh, that's it. Did I say it? I think I said it. Scorpio. Oops. It's because your tail is in my hands here. I'm tickling your tail. You're tickling my elbow. So stop. Move. Turn around. Do something. All right, Scorpio, let's see. All right, so on your side, you get the Four of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles. So the way it's looking here, you're wanting to somehow either spend more time with this person or even reconcile with them. Uh, I feel like you're, you're, you have a plan, you're taking it slow, you're not rushing things. Something about getting together with this person, right? But I feel like it's not necessarily happening according to your plan or according to how you would want it to happen. For them, they get the Seven of Wands, the King of Cups, and the Devil. They're rejecting you. There's some, there's some sort of a rejection here on your part when it comes to you, to the love you have to offer them. And... There's something to that rejection. Either they're fearful, either there's something toxic here in between the two of you. There could be an addiction on your part, on their part, on either one of you's part. Um, but it's coming from somewhere, this rejection from... Um, from some sort of a pattern. Um, for the connection, you get the Seven of Cups, the High Priestess, and the Eight of Swords. Somebody, and I feel like this is you, are trying to explore. Your intuition is telling you to look in um, different directions, right? To explore other options, possibly. But you feel like you're stuck here. You feel like you can't explore other options because you're stuck here. And the intuition is pushing you to do this while the mind is telling you, but you're trapped. There's no escape. And by the way, this is self-imposed. So this is an energy that you can easily get yourself out of. We need to move you. We need to recalibrate you. Let's see what the universe has. Your tail was getting really annoying. The King of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Moon. You're um, either you or them. I feel like this is you, though. Um, you have this image, this vision of the two of you being happily ever after, pretty much. You know, there's a lot of happiness, a lot of passion in between the two of you. But I feel like it's just an idea that you have. It's just a dream possibly that you have with the moon being here this is telling me that this is something you're thinking about in secret you know so could be them but i see this more on your side here um that's it Moving on to Pisces.
definitely a reading I would want to clarify, but I'm not gonna. So the two of swords came out on uh, in reverse on your side there. Um, two of swords in reverse, the four, four of wands and the knight of pentacles. So this is telling me that you might not have any confusion here in regards to, there could be a marriage here in between the two of you or a very solid long-term relationship here. But on your side, it's looking like confusion is gone, you know, about whatever issue was at stake between the two of you. Uh, no more confusion. You do want to move this along. Very calm, very practical, very kind of like you mapped this out for how it's going to look, how it's going to go. For them, pretty much the same energy. They get the uh, page of pentacles, the hierophant and the nine of pentacles. So yeah. Hierophant and the Four of Wands are on both your sides. So that's why I said marriage for um, a lot of you. Two times in such a short reading, that's uh, saying a lot. But they want stability here with you. They want to come towards you. You want to come towards them. So you two are meeting halfway here with what you want. And it's looking stable. Now, for the connection. You get the Empress, the Five of Pentacles. Thank you for showing me that because I couldn't see what it was. I couldn't see the card. I was just going to do this to pull this one to see this one, but Felix pulled it out. Um, so the Empress, the Five of Pentacles, and the Hermit. One of you, and I feel like it's you, um, is going through some abandonment issues or some fears of abandonment. So you might be fearing a little bit that... Yeah, this is going perfect right now and it's going in a good direction. But what if, what if this person leaves me at some point? You know, there's that fear in there. That's not coming from this person. That's not coming from the situation. That's coming from way back when. So you're going to have to look into that if that belongs to you. You know, this fear of what if this person is going to go away. Um, Let's see what the universe has. The Three of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Justice card. I feel like something did happen in between the two of you. I do see pain here. Not right now. Something happened in the past here that was very painful. And somebody's still working on that thing. So let's say things have been perfect between the two of you for two years, right? Two and a half years ago, something awful happened between the two of you. One of you is still working on that pain so but it's getting there slowly but surely uh you're winning if that's you working on this pain you're winning over this pain um so that's um pretty much it that's what i have for you that's what i have for everyone right right um yeah that's all so I wanted to thank all of you for, um, God, I even forgot, for supporting me, this channel, uh, supporting each other, you know, whenever you can. Um, supporting this guy. <laughs> and uh, for the donations, for everything that you do to contribute to this channel. Um, Thank you for this t-shirt, I think, Allison. Uh, if I got the name wrong, then I suck, because I'm bad at names. But you know who you are. Um, I wanted to say something else. Completely slipped my mind. Whoops, I forgot. Shit. <laughs> what did I want to say? I forgot. Oh my god, and it was so important. Don't mind me. Um, if I remember, no, I won't remember. I, I can feel it slipping away and going and going and going. Shit. Yeah, so uh, that's what it is, guys. I'm not going to keep you here until I see the thing that I was supposed to say go and go and go. Because I don't see any return. Okay, movie night, guys. Prepare. Well, you're prepared. 
they're sleeping both of you so that's what it is um see you next time bye